Hello and welcome. Today marks the 50th daily vlog that I've done. It's not a lot, but I thought I'd do a little celebration. It's been a bit of work, but it's been so much fun. I've met so many of you guys, like through YouTube, commenting and the Facebook groups and all that stuff. It's been awesome. In between those vlogs, I've still done my reviews, tutorials and things like that. So yeah, I'm really excited. That's 50 and I'm gonna keep going for as long as I can. So I hope you guys are enjoying them because I'm loving making these. They've been super fun. And yeah, so just look forward to more and we'll celebrate the next milestone. As usual, first order of business is the sea monkeys and I also have to feed them today. It's the first day I've had to feed them, so let's do it. All right, so there they are. I think they're everywhere now. I think they're getting bigger and there's definitely a lot more of them. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is give them their first feed of their lifetime. So it's one of their little teaspoons of this stuff here. Let's do it. So that's what it looks like. It's all chunky. Break it up a little bit because it's very chunky. And it says to stir it in and aerate the tank a little bit. Put some oxygen in there. Oh, it smells weird this stuff. I don't know. It's like... <laughs> it smells like a farm, this food. Alright, that should be good. Now I think the next time I feed them is, it doesn't exactly tell you feed them every five days, every two days or anything like that. So I think the next time I feed them is just when I feel they need to be fed. It pretty much just says if the tank's cloudy, don't feed them. Okay, so the sea monkeys are doing good. What I'm doing now is just looking for another restaurant to go to tonight. Something we haven't been to before. Katie and I just want to go out for dinner tonight. So trying to find somewhere new we haven't been. So I'm just Googling and going through all the like restaurant reviews. Somewhere in the area, I don't want to go too far. So I think I've found two and I'm just going to narrow it down from there. And um, yeah, book it in and we'll be going out tonight. We're celebrating the 50 vlogs. No, we're not really, just going out. So if you watched yesterday's vlog, you would see that I tried to put my GoPro on my dog with it using a ring just hanging off her collar. It shook around everywhere and it didn't look good at all. So what I did, I had a look on eBay to see if there was like some kind of harness that I could mount the GoPro to Kimber with and I found one, it's awesome. It was 20 bucks, check it out. So that's it there, so you can mount it on their back, just behind their head or on their chest and there's a picture there. So I should hopefully get that sometime next week and then we can put it on Kimber and give it a go. Can't wait for summer where I can take her to the beach and take her in the water and things like that with that on. I think that would look awesome. Uh, anyway, for now, just gotta get ready. Katie finishes work soon, then we're going out for dinner, so that should be good. thing just happened you know how I did that shot of my car leaving the driveway well I had my camera sitting on the letterbox that's how I got the shot and a lady was walking past the house when I did it and all she would have seen is me jump in my car so she probably thought this idiot's left his camera here she looked at it but kept walking and I was expecting her to come back and say oh sir you left your camera or whatever but she didn't say anything she just kept walking so I took my car out of the driveway, did the shot, grabbed the camera, then I drove across the road and just stopped there to make sure I had everything with me. And as I was doing that, I saw her, she must have thought I left. She turned back around and walked back to the house and she kept looking over her shoulder and looking around. And um, yeah, she checked to see if the camera was still there, but it wasn't obviously. So I don't know if she was gonna take the camera or she was coming back to tell me I left it there. I don't know, but I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> um, Anyway, I'm just heading to Katie's now, then we're heading out for dinner, and then we are seeing a movie after dinner. So come with us, and I hope you're enjoying today's vlog. Baby, it's the ultimate feeling. Feeling so gifted. Sugar, how you get so nice. So we're just driving to the restaurant now. Katie's here with me. Hi. Looking, looking beautiful as usual. Sorry, I forgot to tell her. I forgot to tell her. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I tell you all the time. So yeah, we're just heading out for dinner and then we're gonna go see a movie. The place we're going for dinner, we've never tried before. I just found it on the net and thought we'll give it a shot. It's an Italian restaurant. Can't remember the name of it, but um, we'll be there soon. I think we might be a little bit late. Our booking's at 7.30. It is now 7.24. That was my fault, oh, sorry. We'll turn here. Um, so yeah, we'll 
will be arriving there shortly and we'll I'll be vlogging the food and everything as well so hope you enjoy as much as we do I'm starving hungry <laughs> yeah so am I hungry as my stomachs feels really empty and it's like eating itself all right so we have arrived and it is really busy here took us a while to get a car park but we finally did we're heading in now I don't know if we're going to make the movie. The movie's at 20 past 9 and it's now 8.30 and we still haven't got our mains. I don't know what to do. We could just leave now. Don't do that. I'm hungry ass. And that's the lamb. Is this lamb? Yeah, lamb. Beautiful. That is the fastest we've ever eaten a meal. We're <laughs> late, we're late for this movie. I think I had my whole meal. That lamb thing you would have seen. I think how fast you reckon I had it? Five minutes? Michael inhaled it. I inhaled it. It was really nice though. It was beautiful. So we're just in the car on the way to the movies now. Obviously Katie's here with me still. I'm still here, he didn't leave me behind. <laughs> um, yeah, the restaurant was good. We really had to hurry. Like, it got to the point where I think it took about 45 minutes for the meal to come out. Holy crap. Um, which is. Ah! No, just <laughs> which is fine because it was like really slow cooked. It was so delicious. But um, we were like, oh, do you know how long it's going to take? Like, I didn't want to rush them. So I'm like, do you know how long it's going to take? I'm not trying to rush you, but we, we just have a movie to see. But it came out just in time. I think we're going to make it. It's 8.55 now. The movie starts at 9.20. <laughs> We're in. <laughs> Michael's stressing out right now because he oh, really wants his popcorn and he's worried <laughs> that the line's going to be too big. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Let's do it. I'm going to run. To get me my damn popcorn. to tell you guys but we're seeing it's called sausage party yeah we're seeing sausage party <laughs> should be funny we don't get out very often so we really like to make the most of it <laughs> what would you do <laughs> we're, we're in the wrong seats <laughs> So we're just heading home from the movies. We saw Sausage Party, as you probably already know, and it was hilarious. Katie loved it. It was so funny. <laughs> there were parts where she was laughing, and then it wasn't like she was still laughing from a funny part, but there was, there was a part there it wasn't funny, but she was still laughing <laughs> from the part before. If that makes any sense. Um, yeah, really awesome movie. If you haven't seen it yet, highly recommend it. It is hilarious. Definitely not for kids, but it was hilarious. And that'll be all for this vlog today. Hope you enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. See you later.